Today I'm going to be showing you a simple science experiment. The materials I'm going to be using are calcium chloride, sodium alginate, and water. To make this a 5% calcium chloride solution, I'll need to add 5 grams of calcium chloride. Now I'll add the calcium chloride to the water and stir it. So this is already a solution of sodium alginate and water with dye in it. So what I'll do is I'll take some of it from here. Now watch what happens as I put it in here. Or, if I put it inside and squeeze it, there. Now that is a worm. make all sorts of shapes with this cool worm thing. The reason this happens is because the sodium alginate reacts with the calcium chloride and it solidifies. Sodium alginate is used in some foods to make it jelly-like. For example, jelly and jello and some jams. It's also used in gelatin mix. You can make this science experiment yourself at home. You can buy sodium alginate at the store online for foods. And if you get food sodium alginate, you can use it to make edible worms, I think. You should probably look it up online before you do it, just in case. I'm 99% sure you can. The bead even feels like you can pop it. There, I popped it. You can even set up a booby trap and have these worms fall on someone on Halloween. Pop. It feels like those poppy things you can get in iced tea. So here I diluted the sodium alginate in even more water. And then I put one little bead of calcium chloride. Let's see what happens. There is some goo collecting around it. A lot of goo. It's like dirty pond water like algae. No wonder sodium alginate is an algae extract. It is. Wow, now the entire thing is basically one big goo glob. Not too gooey though. Again, it's like dirty pond water with algae inside. Well, the entire thing's diluted. I'll pour it into this other one so you can see how it pours. You can see it's kind of viscousy. The globs are going now. Oh yeah, that was a big glob. You 
You see that stuff? That's what happened. Thanks for watching and subscribe.